What's up, Cowboy Nation and Cowboy Headquarters? It's your boy, G, the number one Cowboy fan of Hampton, coming at you live, direct, and correct from St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah, I'm here down here uh, with um, doing business down here in Florida. I'll be down here for a week. So, yeah, from, from the West Coast to the East Coast. So, uh, here I am in my hotel room. I, just the best lighting right now. So, I thought I'd just set up in here in this other room back here and do this video. But, first of all, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers that supported this channel. And that helps come together in this cowboy huddle where we come together and talk about our cowboys. Um... Let's get right down to business, and I'm just going to say it like this. So, if you haven't heard, we know now that Leal Collins has been suspended for five games. Five. Now, <clears throat> what's been reported is that basically he did not report to taking a drug test. What drug test that was, we do not know. But we know that it has been uh, uh, official that he is suspended for five games. Bad timing bad time and I'm going to talk about that a little bit let me say this here guys and I know that a lot of these players on this team are young but again I always tell my kids sometimes the choices you make can be a lifelong consequence I tell my kids this all the time so now Lael Collins for whatever reason pull this stunt now I don't know the, the severity of it or why he did it but again it's the accountability and it's accountability falls on Leo Collins you just have let the whole organization down due to the fact of your lack of responsibility okay so here we are now we have to make arrangements which I think Zach Moore would probably move to the to the right tackle and then we have to keep McGovern in but but one thing I can say, man, one of the things about being America's team, we're going to always be in the news about if it's good or bad. We're going to always make the news. So this is one thing about like being a celebrity. You know, a celebrity does something good, you hear about it. A celebrity does something bad, you hear about it. And the Cowboys are basically the same way. They're the same way. So, um, yeah, here we are. Leo Collins is out for five freaking games. And this is to any any individual, young individual, young adult, whatever. The things you do can affect you long term. Bad choices, bad consequences. Good choices, great rewards. Just that simple. So here we are. Um, the whole team, I'm sure. The fan base. I know our fan base are disappointed. I know the organization is disappointed. I mean, this is just such a, uh, a, a big, big mistake on Leo Collins' part. So, it is what it is. Also, um, with MG, Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup is going to probably be out for three weeks. He has a calf injury, some type of calf injury. Um, it must be pretty severe for him to be out for three weeks. So, next man up will probably be Cedric Wilson. Cedric Wilson will probably come up. Then they'll probably bring... Uh, Semi for who, for uh, for Hoko. I don't know if he's ready, but I'm sure they're gonna probably bring him up um, next uh, to fill the role, or they'll probably go get somebody off the uh, free agents uh, wire or something like that. But Michael Gallup is gonna be out for three weeks. <sighs> ah. But what I did want to do, guys, I want to kind of share something with you about um, the last week game of of. Tampa Bay and Dallas and one thing I did forget to mention and I know I said how great the defense look and how good they look but I also have to make mention that Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis, Jordan Lewis did have he did redeem himself but Anthony Brown we might have to do something different uh, it was been mentioned to me and I, I kind of agree I heard somebody say you know we might well just let Nation the right play why not? Let him play. But Anthony Brown is not the answer. I would rather get beat by a rookie and with a rookie than to have a veteran like Anthony Brown just to get torched like he did. So don't be surprised if you see Nation Wright getting some reps out there along with Anthony Brown. But 
they definitely got to make some decisions at this cornerback because that hurt us. But now I can't say this with with um, with Greg the Legs Airline. He did take accountability. He said it was my fault. He said it was my my fault. So, um, you know, he didn't make any excuses. He owned up to it, and basically, he realized that what he did was not acceptable. And I sure hope he fixes it. But again, we all we do we do know that because of that back surgery that you know it just made it hard for him. So, but he didn't make excuses about that. So, which I can respect that. But um, so now here we are. We're getting prepared for the Chargers, which they're playing today. I haven't had a chance to look at the the watch them watch them football team and um, the Chargers. But I can say something about the Char Chargers. So basically. The Chargers defense fe features multiple all-pro players, uh, which one is Joey Bosa, uh, safety Derwin uh, James, and Chris Harris at cornerback. So um, I'm going to go back and do a little film study on the Chargers. We'll talk a little bit more about the Chargers, but I did want to get on here and report to you guys of the latest of what's going on. So you guys let me know. What do y'all think? What should we do? How should, how should we deal with this? Again, I say Zach Martin has to move to right tackle. Then you're going to have to keep McGovern in at the guard. But whatever you do, do not bring Todd uh, Naseki in. Do not do that to yourself or Richard Steele. No, Terrence Steele. We cannot do that. That doesn't make sense. So, anyway, guys, I just want to shout out to you guys, man. Make sure you go to our Facebook page to kind of see some of the latest stuff we got up uh, on, on our social media as well. But, um, again, guys, here I am in Florida. I'll be here for a week. So, we got a conference down here. So, I'm still rocking my Dallas stuff. So, anyway, guys, you guys enjoy the rest of y'all. your Sunday. And uh, we'll get back together as we evaluate this Chargers team. Deuces.